man. Dark Gun. We haven't seen Dark Gun in a while. Yeah, I haven't seen him forever. Does he still play Lucario? Do you know? Yeah, he does. There's Hamlin's Shout character. Young blood. I am Hamlin's here. Yep. I haven't seen him. Hamlin is playing an illegal game. He admitted it when he walked in. Well, I he says he's playing, he's playing it just because it's final now. He didn't ha he didn't like the changes. So like now that it's final, there can be a developing uh, meta game. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Two, right, are they get, man, they're getting right into it. That was quick. But yeah, uh, Hamyojo, he played a lot of this game in the past, but he played Yoshi, like a like a dingus. Yeah. And now he's playing Sheik. He, now he's playing a character that isn't broken. <laughs> and by broken, I mean like actually like needs literally to be fixed. broken. <laughs> no, it, it's a feature now. Poor Pug. <laughs> oh god, down air. Down air. Oh, okay. That, that was. That was almost really, really cool. I wonder how fresh uh, Dark End is. I don't. I can't remember seeing him play the last time. Wherever uh, he was at. I can't. I, I want to say I saw him at Forte. I can't remember. He was at Forte. He was at Forte. I commented his match actually. I wonder how well Hamlin knows the Lucario matchup. I mean, he's just doing Sheik things right now. As yeah, as he is. Know. And like Sheik things really body Lucario. Do they really? Mm -hmm. Like she, I think she kind of bodies Lucario. Like his uh, his fall speed is uh, really good for Sheik to to bully, to down tilt and forwarder. He yeah. grab. I don't really know enough about Lucario to make any arguments for why it'd be a good matchup for him. So I'm pretty sure it is. From what I, oh my god. Okay, we win. Lucario's recovery is very odd. What I've learned from uh, Deku and Rai, I'm pretty sure this is a bad matchup. Yeah. Oh, oh <laughs> Moonwalk. Ugh. Have you ever Ugh. actually tried to play Lucario? No. It's actually really hard. I, I believe. He, he really is on yeah. the You're right, Typo. You have to totally change your mindset of how combos work in order to play Lucario. Yeah, it's really, really strange. They, it appeals to a certain number of people. That yep. not me. I play a simple character. We both play simple characters. I play the big bird, and I play the laser bird, and I play the electric knee bird. That's that's who I play. I, I play a turtle. He plays a turtle. Turtle's cool. Oh, yeah. Both these, yeah, these guys' dash attacks are... I think Lucario actually good. has one of the best dash attacks in the game. Not because of the dash attack itself, but what it goes into. Yeah, like if you just dash attack somebody, it just it just opens up a lot of hurt for the other guy. Like Lucario's dash attack is actually one of his better approaches. It's not necessarily a safe one, but, yeah. but the I, options can, it opens up for him, yeah. even on shield. Yeah, because you can make it somewhat safe sometimes if you have aura. All um, you really need to make sure is that it connects. That's yeah. the hard part. Yeah, but like if, it, if it doesn't get if it doesn't connect, you kind of it's a bad it's a bad like, time. Paying attention to this match. Um, I've already noticed um, Darkin going for a lot of dash attacks, and Hamlin's just dash dancing away from it. Yeah. He's that like, oh, I'll just think of you as like Captain Falcon. Oh, that was. That would have been a great pivot grab. That, that was cute from Dark Gun. That was cute from uh, Ham Yojo. That would have. Did you see that moonwalk into forward smash? That, yeah. was, that was cute. Did he touch the ground? Does he have his jump? Ooh. Okay. Uh, that was, man, that was a convincing three stock. Yeah, I uh, agree. Dark Gun looks a little bit rusty. He's not the greatest player, but... Yeah, I didn't see any of his fancy Lucario yeah, combos. He, I mean, he, his punish game is typically really, really good. Yep. He didn't really get anything started. And look at this poor man Hamyojo. His ripped jeans. What is this? Oh, my god! What are you, from the 90s? So you, yeah, I, I agree. It's called style. And Hamlin, sadly, does not have enough style. He's playing chic. Of course he doesn't. Oh my gosh, oh, Typo just tried to Is censor that a Final me. Fantasy shirt? Told you, Typo. Told you, Typo. Oh, never mind. I saw him reach for a button and I was like, no, I'm gonna call him out. Okay, okay so Austin's shirt is a Final Fantasy shirt. Aha. Uh -huh. Got it. Typo's a liar. After you escape from Midgar, save your game and then keep going until you get to calm and stop at the end and then tell your whole party about your strange disjointed past before continuing on. Okay, keep calm and party on. I get it. God. Oh, that was... See, like, this is...
is more. Oh, oh that, that was a, a sick ledge grab. Yeah, this that is, was really close. This is a, a more usual dark gun. It's a really, really good punish game. Oh, those needles look so scary for the car. Here we yeah, go. Oh, yeah, here we go. That's a. Oh, man, I kind of dropped it a little oh, bit. He wanted. He was getting one. Every Lucario, whenever you see that side B miss, it's like, you know they wanted it so bad. God, it's, it's a really fun move. Oh, no. Oh. Good ledge grab. Yeah, that's a pretty good use of aura. Excuse oh. me? He's boosted there. Yeah, I, I saw, but like, oh my god, I didn't know it was gonna give him that much horizontal distance. Holy cow. Yeah, boosted, his boosted Nair, it, he, uh, he cancels, if he has aura, he can down B, cancel it into a Nair, and he just flies. It's crazy. It's, I was just surprised how little lag it looked like it had. Well, he used it really, really far out, so... I probably uh, just didn't see most of it. Yeah, like it was most in the of bubble. it was like off stage, or off, uh, off the screen. Yeah, that makes sense. Man. It's really good, though. If you're recovering pretty high, but he's a really, he's a really smart idea. Good call out on the down B. Hamlin showing he is not foreign to this game. And Darkin uh, keeping keeping Hamlin uh, pretty pretty ha pretty honest. He's not a he got three stocked last game, but he's showing him that he will not get three stocked. At least the stage counter pick is definitely working for him. Oh, definitely. This is a really good idea. Do you think uh, Darken just wasn't warmed up or something in game one? He could have been cold. Because it couldn't have been. We're seeing a dramatic difference in the game yeah, already. Yeah, he's beating him. He... That, that must was... have been a flub. That had to be a flub. There's no way he was like, I'm going to beat Zelda. Because I'm pretty sure Ham Yojo really does not like Zelda. Don't you know how Sheik and Zelda are supposed to be played? Sheik is supposed to rack up the percent, and Zelda gets the kills, oh. just like Father oh. Sakurai said. Oh, you're right. Oh, you're a genius. Doesn't matter what Sakurai says, though. We're his rebellious children. We are. Oh, is he, that it? he wants to disown us. And finally, at 180, he dies. Yeah, this God, 16% from all those needles. Yeah. Call that a mobile smash attack. <laughs> Yeah, this is really good from Dark Gun. Re oh, that Moonwalk is pretty. never to take Dark Gun to FD. Oh my god, that, that was an interesting idea. I do not agree with it. Yeah, that's typically like a like a Scrub Lucario thing. Oh, that was spot dodge. But... Maybe he was just having a really hard read or something. <laughs> yeah. What Ooh. if? He's forward Sheik's forward air sounds Ooh. so meaty. You know brilliant. what I mean? Just like, oh, you, you can feel it in your in your bones. Oh, that was a really odd recovery, but it worked. Dead? Uh, terrible DI. Do you know about Lucario in Green Hill Zone and why it's a bad stage for him? Oh, yeah, sometimes uh, his up just, like, doesn't work, right? Yeah, you can't, like... Um, no, it's because Lucario's up B. From what I understand, like, I've, I've talked to Deku's about this a bunch of times, and he hates that stage because you can't really sweet spot with Lucario's up B on Green Hill Zone. Like, yeah. you'll pop above the ledge and back onto stage. So you'll almost always have to land on stage with your up B unless, you're, unless you want to fall all the way back down to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know if it's impossible to sweet spot. I think it's just like a weird bug. But there, there's a little weird thing about that stage and Lucario's up B that says, oh, where you would have normally sweet spotted on most stages, this stage is going to just pop you back up for some reason onto the stage. Not like hit you pop up, but it's you just really weird. move onto the stage as opposed to grabbing a ledge. Okay, so yeah, Dark Gun taking the second game. Good stuff to him. Dreamland. And Yoj already feels at home. Interesting counter pick. This is a good stage for Sheik. But Lucario. I mean, it's it's okay for Lucario. I maybe he doesn't really know, but I think this is a really good stage for Sheik. I think Hamlin probably had it. I, I think he had the idea in mind that he just wants to be able to run around some more um, and have. Uh, the platform is ready because he was like, okay, I did really well on a stage with two platforms. I got kind of messed up a lot more than I expected to on a stage with no platforms. Yeah. Let's go to a big stage where I have lots of room to run around. Yeah, I... Um... Maybe we'll see some uh, Zelda transformations to recover. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be hype. Okay. Good forward tilt. The forward air. Yep. The chic classic. Indeed. Oh, no. He just jumped right over the needles. Oh! Holy cow. God, he grabbed him. He was like, oh, bleh. 
You know what? I'm glad Everyone Hamlet's smiling about that. That, yeah. that makes me happy to see. Yeah. Though I also really like to see like melee players getting really salty at PMs. Yeah, sometimes. you'll see you'll see that so much. Yeah. But Hamlin Hamlin understands this game. He played PM a little bit, so You know what I respect about Hamlin? Like what? he comes back to Project M every now and again. Um, yeah. and he doesn't really complain about matchups very much. He like he might he might say so and so has an advantage in this matchup because of this or that, but he doesn't complain that the matchup is just unwinnable or something. You'll yeah. you'll hear a lot of melee players just coming in and like, Bowser's the dumbest character in the game, why does this armor exist and um, meanwhile in reality their character actually has a abysmal matchup um, in favor of, against Bowser Ye. like uh, like she and ZSS and a lot oh of characters my what's what's one matchup that I hear about a lot um, probably X versus Game and Watch versus Game and oh my gosh People way overestimate Game & Watch. They I do. mean, I'm not saying he's not a good character. I think he's a yeah, great he, character. Yeah, he's a great character, but, but people overrate him. He has some glaring flaws. He's like, super light. If people ever actually looked at his uh, frame data on some of his moves, like his down tilt, you know how it flips up and down a lot, right? Game & Watch's down tilt? Yeah. Oh, God. That was a, that was a mistake. There's actually no hitbox on the last two flips of it. It's just sitting there doing nothing. That's weird. But I'm getting a little carried away with this yeah. conversation. <laughs> yeah. uh, sorry about that. So we're seeing a pretty pretty even game yeah. this uh, this time, this game around. So I think uh, Hamyoja is really favoring this. This kind of pick's working well for him. Yeah, it is. He's not getting hit by a lot of Darkens. So he's able to move around just a lot more. Hamlin's also edge guarding him really well. Yeah, he is. In the last game, he wasn't really getting a lot of his edge guard. He was actually, Darken was recovering very well in the last game. He was. But like in this, in this stage, like, I don't know. It feels like just, it's just, better for Sheik to edge guard. It's probably a lot easier to see what he's doing. Mm, good combo. Got a, yeah, he had to, he kind of had to use the uh, aura there. Oh, that's okay. Uh, I got he the weak still hits. hasn't dropped this edge guard in a technical sense. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. I guess commentator's curse. Like yeah. he's still been putting pressure on him ever since he got oh. back to the stage. That was, uh, that was cute. Ooh, not sure why he down beat there. I don't think he's gonna recover. Yeah. Nice grab. Yeah, just grab the ledge. Okay, so I mean, he's he's one forward, away, forward arrow away from death, but yeah, Lucario, uh, he's a character. I mean, it's kind of tough to crouch cancel Lucario's moves, so he's got that working for him. Yeah. Oh. As I speak. <laughs> oh, God. So much commentator curse. You have your double jump? Oh, oh but Sheik Needles are so good. Oh, that was okay, good he arced around that so well. That's it. Bye. That was a good game. That was a good set. Bye, furry animal. Bye, furry animal, man. That was a good set, though. Good that was. Good stuff yeah. to Han Yojo for winning. Yeah. Tough game one for Dark Gun, but... Then tough game two for Hamlin. Well, I I would say that game two, Hamlin did a lot of changing up the way he played. Um, I can't exactly say off the top of my head what changed in that match, but Dark Gun started out super strong game two, he did. and then Hamlin was just like, you know what, let's, let's have enough of that. I'm going to start making this comeback. But it was too late. 